wild cat. We've put um, quite a large system into this one. It's um, a 24 volt system actually, so a bit different to what we would normally do. Um, there's some uh, massive benefits of using 24 volt uh, for large systems. Uh, this is a genuinely large system as well. It's 10.56 kilowatt hours of battery. So to put that into perspective, if you've got, for example, a battery on the side of your house, it's effectively the same size as that. Um, there's nearly two kilowatts of solar on the roof and uh, we're running a three and a half thousand watt um, Enerdrive combi inverter. Um, so the, the truck was integrated to Australian conditions um, when it first came to Australia. Our client's only recently taken over ownership of this um, fifth wheeler and they have sold everything and they're going to be living in this. So they wanted something which would be like living in a house. And what we've designed effectively gives them that. It's um, a very, very robust system. Uh, we've used um, best of the best components. And I can take you through what we've done down underneath. Let's have a look. So the way we've designed this system is um, trying to optimize efficiency with uh, solar charging and then usability of inverter and um, batteries as well. So we've actually split on the roof, we've got three, um, three arrays up there, we've got um, 800 times two, so two strings of 800 coming down to two separate solar regulators and then the um, fifth wheeler had a, an existing solar panel on the roof which we've taken down to a 20 amp solar rig. Because it's 24 volt, um, all the current's half, so um, that, as I say, gives you um, nearly two kilowatts of solar. Um, We've used all inner drive equipment as per normal um, DC DC charger, which they can charge whilst driving um, their tow vehicle, which is a Isuzu truck. Um, we've got a Cymarine system inside, and we've used a 3500 VA inner drive combi inverter, 24 volt. And then I guess the uh, the muscle of the whole um, install are these absolute monster batteries. Uh, these are 200 amp hour each at 24 volt. So if you were to convert that for simplicity purposes uh, into 12 volt, they're 400 amp hour each, giving 800 amp hour, but 10.56 kilowatt hours of battery. Uh, we've had to do a few other things as well. All the controls in here are 12 volt, so their their system internally is 12 volt, lights work off 12 volt, uh, all the normal fans and pumps and, and that sort of thing are all 12 volt. So we've had to put our 24 to 12 um, converter in, and we also had to change out their hydraulic pump, um, which pushes their two slides out, the main living area and their bedroom which is the um, hydraulic pump here. These batteries have got 200 amp hour, sorry, 200 amp BMSs built into them. Um, so each battery has more um, maximum peak discharge than what this whole system can, um, can generate. So this, this inverter, for example, at peak will pull 140 amps of load from these batteries. And as I say, there's 200 amp BMSs in each one of these. Um, so they they are monster batteries. So our client came to us 
Um, with their specific requirement being no compromise, they wanted, they, they actually live in this van. Um, so they're going to be living and traveling around Australia for an indefinite period of time. So they didn't want to have a situation where they might struggle for energy whilst off grid. Uh, they do want to spend a lot of time off grid. They don't want to be in van parks, even though this is quite a large uh, vehicle. Um, they're not really going to be able to get into too many caravan parks anyway. And, and um, being off grid for them was uh, a very important aspect of what they wanted to achieve out of an upgrade. Um, so when we say no compromise, this, this van during testing, um, I was able to run the air conditioner um, and another couple of appliances, 240 volt appliances with parity. So no, no deficit out of the battery at all. And this is only October at the moment. So the sun isn't even at its peak yet. Uh, and that would have been in partially clouded um, environment days as well. So. What we've designed here for these guys is, uh, as I said, an, a, no comp a no compromise system. It's, it's massive. It really is. If you, if you want to live like a house, if you want to tow something around as big as this and you want to treat it like a house, then a system like this will be able to do that for you. So what can they run? Well, they can run coffee machines, their air conditioner, um, they, they, uh, uh, they do have an induction cooktop, um, uh, which they are going to be using. They are going to replace this, um, stove now as well. Um, so this stove will come out and induction cooker will go in. Uh, what type of fridge are they putting in? They are putting a Bushman fridge. We're going for the new Bushman 230 litre fridge. Um, so that's on its way and that's going to go in. We've taken the old three-way fridge out. Uh, they can run microwave, they can run rice cookers, they can run air fryers, they can, they can run multiple appliances at once. There's, there's really a, not a lot of limit to what they can actually do in this motorhome. Mm -hmm.